stopping for a stop sign. That's not our stop sign, so we're clear. And it's just really hesitant right there. Hi everyone, just another Tesla guy here. Gonna have full self driving drive me all the way to Eagle Rock Reservation. Want to see how full self driving will perform here. And yeah, we're just gonna get started at the stop sign and engage full self driving. Stopping here for a stop sign, making sure we're clear, and we're going to probably creep forward to make sure that there's no oncoming cars. And we're clear. So, yep, let's go. Perfect. All right, and we're off. I'm gonna make a right turn up ahead. Cars coming out, there's an ambulance pulling out here. And waiting for it to go. Alright. Looks good. Alright. Slow down for it, so that was a good job, for Tesla. You know, right turn here. So, I was a little hesitant when they saw that car just parking right there, but it still made the turn and it still continue. All right, we're off again. Stop sign up ahead. Gonna stop for a stop sign. Let's see, looks like we're here. There's an oncoming car on my right side. It saw that, so it's waiting for that. It's clear on this side. This car is about to make a left turn, so we're going. All right, and we're off again. doing good so far. I have not needed to do anything besides applying slight force on the steering wheel. And all right, the speed limit sign here is dirty. Car should pick that up and yep, it picked that up. So now it's speeding up. There's a car behind me now, so I might just bump it up a little bit to 35. Here, so I don't hold anyone up, slow anyone down. Good job so far, Tesla. Besides just applying some force on the steering wheel and just speeding up to 35, it has been handling this whole drive. Stopping for a stop sign. That's not our stop sign, but it stops. There was no car behind me. I let the car figure it out, so we're good there. But it stopped for a stop sign that wasn't our stop sign and that has not been the first time it has done that but if there was a car behind me I would just press the accelerator for it to go but there was no cars behind me so I just let it figure it out and it eventually knew that we were clear and it went ahead right now there's another stop sign and we need to make a left turn here see we're clear on the left lane let's see the right side we're clear on the right side as well so we're clear and it's just really hesitant right there so I think that car may have scared it the white car in ahead of us so I just press accelerator for it to go 
but that wasn't a good turn because we were stopped like right in the middle of the intersection. We were clear, so that was fine, but if there was oncoming cars, oncoming traffic, that would have been bad. So it definitely wasn't confident. That other car that was about to turn may have caused a confusion, but that shouldn't be happening for full self-driving. Like, it slowed down for that car that was parking, so I just press accelerator for it to pick back up since there was a car behind me. But yeah, during those times, the car should not be stopping in the intersection like that. If you're pulling out and turning, you should just be confident and continue going, especially if there was no cars right there. Okay, so that, but I didn't have to disengage. I just had to press accelerator for the car to go. Otherwise, it still made the turn on its own without me having to disengage it and manually control the car to turn left. All right, it just slowed down to let that car drive into the end. But it's slowing down, but it doesn't speed back up. It doesn't pick back up that speed, and I have to press accelerator for it to go. So it needs to just know to go forward when it slows down. But again, I did not need to disengage so far this whole drive, so that's a good thing. I just had to press accelerator a handful of times. Speed limit was just changed to 40, so it matched up, matched with that. I think there's a traffic light up ahead. here all right but i guess this is what tesla means by level two full self-driving requires attention constant attention from the driver to monitor the car making sure that the car doesn't do some weird things like that stopping at the intersection again or just slowing down and not speeding up when the traffic has cleared up Started to slow down because the speed limit changed to 30, so it instantly started to drop down the speed to 30 to match with the speed limits. All right, stopping here for a red light. The only bad thing about the car dropping down to 30 to match the speed limit is that the cars behind me or the cars in front of me may not be doing that, which can instantly cause a car behind me to bump into me because I just slow down instantly when I shouldn't need to or because the other, the other cars may not be doing that. So when that does happen instantly, you know, the driver has to press on the accelerator for the car to speed back up. All right, we need to stay on the left two lanes. Right here we're going at 30 it's a car right behind me so i'm gonna speed it up to 35. right so we need to stay in the left two lanes to make a left turn and we're changing lanes now cyclist in front of us so it's really hesitant it's not sure what the cyclist wants to do it's just stopping here nope it moved ahead all right now we're stopping for a traffic light all right it's making a left turn right here let's see That was a good left turn, made it, and then changing lanes, followed the route. All 
All right, that was beautiful. Good job, Tesla. So he's to make a right turn up ahead. I still, I, ha I have not needed to disengage. I just had yeah, only had to press accelerator for it to go or speed up the car to match with the flow of traffic. But otherwise, I this car has been driving and navigating the whole time. Speed limit here is 35. We're going at 28. Lots of cars in front of us. Should be making a right turn up ahead. Blinkers on. Right turn. Beautiful. Speed limit is 25. It dropped down to 25. Right. In these roads, where the car can't really see a yellow line or there's no yellow divider line, it doesn't really notice that. So it kind of moved a little bit over, thinking this is a one-way one one-way lane, and it's gonna try to stay in the middle. But here, it may, it can see like a faint marking, so it does show up here, and now it's more towards the right side. It's a parked car here, moved over to the left. Beautiful. Now we're moving back. Great. All right, going at 25, no cars behind me. I'm comfortable with this speed. I'm just gonna leave it at 25. All right, here we go. Let's make a right turn at this stop sign. And all right, it stops. Creeping forward for visibility. We're clear here. All right, made that right turn. And we're set here. All right, just a couple of winding roads and let's see how it performs. There is a car coming right behind me. Which is really hesitant, slowing down here. So I'm just gonna press accelerate for a little bit. There's a car right behind me. All right, and made it through here. And let's see it wind up the road. Apply some force, all right. And the car is doing this drive itself. I'm not touching the steering wheel. Hands off. And it's able to do this beautifully. Great job. Slow down for this turn right here. Oncoming car. Apply some force. All right. Speed limit here is 50. I doubt it will speed up to 50 here, which is good. It does. It doesn't speed up here. All right. Almost there. Apply some force. Got it. drive a little further but it was able to take me here without any disengagement on my part all i had to do was press on the accelerator for it to go but otherwise it made all the turns it made all the right turns and left turns it made the winding roll beautifully yeah let me know what you think of this drive down in the comments below